Greetings, soldiers, and welcome to Operation Flashpoint 2. I have been designed and tasked to provide you the intel on this operation, from uniform regulations to objectives and victory conditions. The game will be divided into two main teams, the United States Marine Corps 2nd Marine Division and Special Forces Element, designated by tan shaded camouflage. The Turkmenistan military, designated by green shaded camouflage. In order to maximize performance and fluency of this operation, all operators must abide by the camouflage designations. Intel also reports a third group, designated under contractor solid pattern uniforms. This group is considered indigenous and highly aggressive towards any forces it encounters. Calculations show that the closer the uniform regulations are followed, the smoother the operation will proceed. Aerial drone scouts also report that light transports will be in play, so mobility will be key to survival and success in this operation. Each force will be provided a forward operating base that will provide a safe zone for soldiers in need of R&R &R and supplies. There will be no breaks during the operation, so coming prepared is a must. Now that the basics are covered, let the briefing commence. Operation Flashpoint 2 will begin with Turkmen forces and U.S. forces staging just outside their forward operating bases. At game start, each force must move here to capture and secure their own detonation device. Upon receipt of the device, each force must then move east to secure and destroy five major indigenous assets. Once an asset is destroyed, the detonation team will be awarded fuel canisters that will be used later in the operation. Each asset's position is unknown. However, the list of the asset with the corresponding fuel amounts are listed for your reference. The detonation device must be used to destroy an asset. Therefore, each asset must be detonated one at a time. Upon detonation of an asset, the rewarded fuel canisters will be dropped off at your respective forward operating base for safe storage. Drone scouts report that a rebel convoy will be entering the area of operation in the early afternoon, transporting a black box that has been recovered by indigenous militia. Primary orders are to capture the convoy and escort it to the enemy forward operating base, arm the black box, and detonate it to remove the opposing team's stronghold in the region. In order to make the convoy move, the escorting team must provide fuel canisters to the vehicle's hull and defend the driver. Once the black box reaches a forward operating base and is armed, the operation will have two victory conditions. The team that is armed the black box will win upon detonation. The team that must stop the detonation will win upon defusal of the black box. Throughout the day, secondary objectives for more intel and fuel canisters will be provided over radio dispatch. Mobility and anticipation will be the two most determining factors of this operation. Stay hydrated. Maintain composure. This will conclude your advanced briefing. Stand by for further instruction on game day. Until next time.